All right, so now let's have a look at how we can use, use the general journals to book into the GL. So first let's uh, register some equity. Um, so the situation is that we, um, upon creating the company, um, the owners put in £10,000 of uh, equity uh, into the bank account. So in order to record this transaction, you go to General Journals and uh, you can select the posting date. Uh, I'm just going to leave it for uh, whichever posting date it is. And um, then you choose in the account type, you choose GL account and then the account number you would choose your equity account like this and then because it goes it's it's a cash deposit into your bank account your balancing um, account needs to be your bank bank account but you shouldn't you shouldn't book it directly into the GL you need to uh, go um, through the bank module or the the, the bank account um, because otherwise the two will get out of sync we need this particular debit increase on the bank account to be registered both on the on the bank account card and on the on the GL account uh, in the ch in the chart of accounts called bank account. So instead of having instead of saying GL account here and then choosing your bank account, that would go um, that would um, uh, that would ignore the bank account. Sorry, but the, the bank account is used for many thing many different things. Um, so you have to choose bank account here and then you choose the only bank account that we have available in our system and of course we need to indicate the amount which is 10,000 so you have um, these 10,000 are, are, are debit right now so because we need them to go into our, our equity account here, we need them to be um, negative, negative or credit. So whatever you see in this field here applies to this account. So what this means is that a credit of 10,000 is going to be registered on our equity account and the, the balancing account, uh, which will then be 10,000 worth of debit, will automatically go to our bank account and because of our bank account posting groups setup it will in turn be registered on our GL bank account. So now we can post it. So we just have to specify a document number. Uh, you can set up so the document numbers uh, come automatically but for the for the sake of demonstrating uh, it's just a check that needs to uh, uh, some content needs to be here. So we'll post it again. And then it's gone through. So let's just go and have a look quickly at our chart of accounts and see how this has, uh, this has affected our data. So firstly we can see now that uh, our GL bank account has been increased by 10,000. We have uh, some equity here. And we can also go to our bank bank account card here, our HSBC, and because we chose to post or balance uh, to a bank account, we can now see the transaction also um, represented in the bank account ledger entries here. So we have some uh, equity now here. Okay, so the next situation is that uh, one of the owners wants to um, um, give two cars to the company so he doesn't want to give any cash uh, for shares or for and for a part of the equity he wants to give uh, two of his cars so um, again we will go to general journals here actually first we need to um, create just another um, another account in our chart of accounts because we expect to uh, after this transaction we expect to own or the company expects to own two cars. So we'll just make another uh, assets account here and call that cars. It's a balance sheet and we can do both debit and credit and we want to post to it. So this uh, is fine. So we'll click OK and we get, get our cars um, 
account here. So next, um, the way to register this um, increase, it's both an increase in equity because the, the company uh, uh, has a, an increase in value and it's also an, an increase in our assets because we now, or the company now owns these two cars. So we go back to our uh, general journal here and um, let's just put in, um, let's just put in a document number now to begin with. So we know that we want to increase our equity account. So we choose GL account here and we say equity. And um, we also know that when we uh, increase our equity, we are crediting. So we need to um, give it a minus to indicate that it's credit because it's in the liabilities section. So before, on the previous one that I showed you, we would be using this balancing account. But we actually have another choice, which is to tap down one line. And if you notice here, the document number is the same as the one uh, above. That means that we can input such a line. It's just a two-legged posting, but we can input such a line. Instead of using the account and balancing account, we can put it in uh, two lines. And the two lines will be connected with the document number like this. So up here we have indicated our equity, which will be credited. And in order to bring this journal uh, to a total of zero or make it balance, we need to specify our cars um, account. So it doesn't specify, it doesn't balance yet, but if we put in a credit or sorry, a debit of 1000, it means now that, uh, that, uh, that this, this journal balances as a total. You can see, by the way, that it accumulates. So we have two um, fields down here. Um, this one tells us how much the total balance is of the entire journal, and it's zero now. And this one tells us by line um, how much um, it accumulates the lines. So you see now it says a thousand because this is the first, or minus thousand because this is the first line. And then if you go down one, it says zero because. Um, these additional plus or debit 1000 brings um, this line and all above to zero. So we can post this now. The lines were successfully posted. <clears throat> if we had, had chosen a different document number over here, it wouldn't have balanced and we weren't, wouldn't have been able to post it. So let's just go and have a quick look at our chart of accounts again. And we can see now that we have an asset uh, of cars worth 1,000 and our equity has uh, increased um, by 1,000 here. So the next thing that happens or the ne next transaction we want to do is a, a scenario where our accountant comes along and says that we are not allowed to post uh, those two cars into the same GL account. In fact, because it's a small car and the other one is a truck, we need to create two separate GL accounts and we need to move these 1,000 um, worth of asset into those two accounts. So the first thing we need to do is just to create two new accounts, one called, um, well, one called small cars and another one called trucks. Uh, we could, uh, of course, us also just rename this one and then, then create another account. But I want to show you how to make a three-legged uh, posting in the general journal. So we'll create <coughs> a new account here. The first one would be just for small, called small cars. And we'll give that as 50 small cars. It's a balance sheet. And we'll say okay to this one and the next account we want to create is a the one called trucks so we'll give this 1060 and call it trucks it's a balance sheet account and we can go okay so now we've got the accounts that we need to perform this uh, transaction so we're going to go back to our our um, uh, general journal and um, nav has already given us the next uh, document number here. So we'll use this one. So we know that we need to reduce our cars 
I count the, uh, the the first one. So we want to move or move all the the, the value from this this uh, this account here. And currently, this th that account has um, a debit of one thousand. So we need to give it a credit of one thousand to bring it down to zero. And then if we go down again, we'll see that once again the document number uh, inherits the one from above because it assumes that the next line will be um, paired with this one. <clears throat> so we want to first um, allocate 300 of these pounds to our small cars. So this is going to be a debit, so it's going to be positive like this. And because this, does, this still doesn't balance the account, so that when so when we go down, uh, tap downwards, we will see that the journal document number is still um, uh, with a two ending at a two. So we want to um, allocate the remaining seven hundred to our trucks account here, and say seven hundred. And then when we go down, Nav automatically um, has calculated that the three first. Um, lines here they balance um, like this so it assumes that the next line we want to input is going to be a separate uh, posting but for the, for the moment we don't want to uh, make any more so we will try to post this one and it says that it's been posted so that's fine <clears throat> and then we can go to our chart of accounts and see what's happened well now we can see that our cars um, account has been brought back down to zero. Unfortunately we cannot delete this one because actually this zero is made up of a number of transactions being two so we will have to, to leave it in our chart of accounts for, 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 for now. Um, but what we can see is that we've, we've been able to split out, uh, out our asset into two uh, other accounts like this. 